Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Now in ENC. We haven't done this in quite a while, but we're jumping right back into some festivals here at WNCT, diving into all things festival in eastern North Carolina, one-stop comprehensive shop for you guys to check it out. And today we are being joined by Miss Stacy Gaskin. She is the one of the committee members for the Aiden Collard Festival. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Good morning, Emily. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Good morning. And this festival is right around the corner, happening this upcoming weekend, September 9th and 10th. And this has been going on. This festival has been going on since about 1975. So almost 40 years now, which is pretty amazing for a town here in eastern North Carolina. So talk to us about what is the Collard Festival for people who have maybe never heard of it before? This is actually our 48th annual festival. Um, things will kick off on Friday evening. Um, we will ha be having wristband night for the kids to come out on Friday night and ride the rides as many as they want. Mom and dad can give them their money and send them down to the rides and they can enjoy the chairman of the board. We'll be starting Friday night at 7 p.m., uh, which, you know, is a beach music band. Saturday is a day full of events and festivities. Uh, we will be kicking off things at 10 a.m. on Saturday morning with the parade. We've probably got about 125 entries in the parade this year. We're really excited about that. After the parade's over, we'd like for everybody to come and join us downtown where there'll be events all throughout the day. We're going to have three different times for the BMX bike show starting at 1230. We'll have the annual Aiden Collard eating contest at 2 p.m. on the stage. You definitely don't want to miss that. And, of course, the rides will be, you know, still going down on the midway all day. We'll have Purple the Clown at the stage for the kids as well between 12 and 2 for some kid activities. And then we want everybody to join us on Saturday night for On the Border, which is an Eagle tribute band. And we also want to let everybody know for those ECU fans that might not uh, be able to make the game, we are going to have some TVs up and going on Saturday night. So you can listen to the band and be sure to keep up with the score. Absolutely. I love how you said that you guys are going to have some some TVs out for people to enjoy the game if they want to as well, because this is truly a community event and a family event for people of all ages to come out and enjoy. Like you said, kids activities, there's going to be music, there's the the Daredevil show, so many things for everybody to enjoy. And this is a free festival to attend, correct? But is there anything that that you recommend people bringing? Um, you know, when you're coming out to hear the bands on Sat Friday and Saturday night, I might bring a comfy chair, you know, a folding chair to sit out. And um, But other than that, I think we've got everything else taken care of. Absolutely. Well, again, you guys, this festival is happening September 9th and 10th. We're going to have all the information, all the details linked below in our article, as well as a link to their website for the Aiden Collard Festival. So you guys be sure to check that out. Again, this is happening this weekend. So much for people to enjoy something for all ages. So thank you so much, Stacey, for jumping on this Zoom call and chatting with us real quick about this awesome festival you guys are putting on for, like you said, the 48th year, with this, which is pretty, pretty amazing. So thank you so much for your time. And thank you guys for watching another now in ENC and we'll see you next time.